I uh, think the quickest thing that I could find was the two, four, seven ranking. So I apologize. Uh, but for sake of all of the listeners here, um, this is where Florida is. So right now, Florida is ranked number five and on three for the transfer portal class, which is significantly higher than they've ever been ranked and have five people in the top 100. So uh, Jason Zandamella was the number seven overall player. Again, probably not going to play much, if at all, this season. Uh, he's a guy that's still learning. He's the class of 2024, right? So um, probably not going to expect to see much out of him, but he's definitely a guy that projects – very well uh, into the future. Cormani McLean, similar situation, you know, is going to need some time uh, to be able to make an impact on the field. Uh, he was number 21. Joey Slackman was number 49. Um, again, I think that he's a guy that's going to play a lot of snaps, maybe not an every down uh, kind of guy, but I definitely think he impacts that defensive line quite a bit. Uh, and is the Ivy League player, our defensive player of the year last season, our defensive line player of the year. Grayson Howard, a guy that we think is going to get a ton of snaps, uh, transfers over. Pup Howard uh, transfers over at linebacker from South Carolina. He's going to have a pretty big impact this season. Jameer Grimsley, we've mentioned him, uh, is a guy that goes to a crowded room. I don't want anybody to sleep on Jameer Grimsley. I know that we were talking about who has the best impact uh, at the University of Florida out of that DB group that we mentioned. We didn't mention his name other than listing it. I think that he's a guy that was recruited by almost every school in the program committed to Alabama over Florida. Uh, Nick Saban retires. He comes, uh, but those are five people in the top 100 uh, that the Gators were able to get. You throw in Elijah Badger. He was ranked number 184. Uh, Triclose Bridges, number 202. Uh, DJ Douglas, 282. And Asa Turner, 287. Bridges, Douglas, and Turner are all going to play very meaningful downs, if not start, uh, for the Gators. Um you add in Shamari DK was 373. Devin Manuel, who's going to probably play quite a bit at 403. Brandon Crenshaw Dixon, number 549. He's going to play. And then you get into Caleb Relos, 829. George Gums, 982, who had a pretty good orange and blue game. And then Clay Millen from Colorado State is the QB, just to add another person uh, to that list. But Nick, top to bottom, uh, I think this is the best transfer portal that the Gators have gotten since the transfer portal opened. Yeah, I mean, the, you're going to get hits and misses in the transfer portal. Um, right. Like Mike and Mazuka, big swing and miss on a curveball in the dirt. Um, Graham Mertz, what we thought was a big swing and miss, proved to be a home run. Um, Osiris Torrance, uh, consensus All-American. Ricky Pearsall, first-round draft pick. Um, and then players that, you know, like, uh, like R.J. Moten, who came – started at safety or now moved to linebacker. Like you're going to have hits and misses, but I think Florida addressed areas of concern. You need a defensive line depth. George Gum's a player. They think they found a, you know, a diamond in the rough, a former tight end who moved to defensive line. I like tight ends that move to defensive line more than defensive linemen that move to tight ends. Um, I think there's a very big difference there um, in terms of moving positions. And, um, it remains to be seen. I think Caleb Banks is a guy two transfer yeah. portals ago that I wasn't very high on that I think has had an awesome offseason. Um, and, and kind of, I thought going into the offseason, I thought, oh, Joey Slackman is going to take that starting spot next to Cam, next to Cam Banks, or um, excuse me, Cam Jackson. Yeah. And I think Banks, another transfer. Yeah. And I think Banks has just taken uh, leaps and bounds, has become a leader in that, in that room. Um, and, and now Joyce Slackman is not a bad player, but probably going to be a rotational piece. And Florida's defensive line is in a position where you're two and three deep pretty much everywhere across the line.